call him the greatest Ooh. of all time, Michael Jordan, that fadeaway was one of those shots that absolutely changed the game. And by the way, I'll just say the Orlando Magic, the last team to beat those hey. Chicago Bulls. Hey, they that were in their heyday. So I, I just want to give uh, 3DS flowers <laughs> while we're here. But you witnessed it firsthand, yes. and you remember what needs to be done and how to defend it and why it was so effective. So, so people understand, so if, if the basket's back here, right, and most guys, be what you notice, know uh -huh. the guys on, we call it the right block. And you, and you back the guy down, you're waiting to see the double team's coming. You can fade away from the double team, right? Good. But what Michael Jordan said, I don't think most people caught. You have to be able to go both ways. Right. And most of us right-hand players, when we're on this left block, mm -mm. we want to come back. Oh, defense coming. You can't go. Now you got to come back this way. Don't like that shot. Most guys cannot fade this way because what did he say? You can't turn your hips. Right. You literally have to defense coming, bring your hips all the way around and still be athletic enough to jump and fade back. Mm. You see, you see what I'm saying? I see now? What you're saying. So now when you watch an NBA game, you watch the college game, most right hand guys love this block. Melo, Kobe, only a few other guys could go to the other block and fade the other way. So that's why I'm sitting there listening to it. Come on, people, we love this game so much. We're Got sponges. I'm like, did you hear what Mike just said? Both ways. Most guys love this block. Not every guy loves this block unless he's a left-handed guy. James Harden. He said, oh, you coming? Okay, let me go ahead and fade away from the defense. Right, right, but right. But now when James Harden's over here, what does James Harden do? He doesn't fade that way. He steps back. Right, 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 right. Because the comfortability of your hips, you have to turn them to get the shot off. So that comes from a lot of repetition. Oh, man, I just, and, 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 thank you upstairs. I just had ooh. And that also, just, I mean, you got a, the, the breakfast club, him and Tim Grover, not the breakfast club today, but the, the right. workout. See, see that? Look at that. See how he's ooh. turning? And you, you have to be. See, that, that is hard to do for a right-hander. Now, see how he went back middle? The, now the double team didn't come. Thank you upstairs. Thank you very much. You see, and, you see that, though, so people understand. When the defense comes, he went right. There's no way you can get to it. The defense didn't come. Let me go back to the middle and shoot over, shooting over a chair, B. Wood. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is Mike made it look so easy. Oh. People thought that it was easy, but the way you just broke it down, it was definitely a difficult shot to take and then make it the high level that he did. Night in and night out, and I'll say it again, I challenge people to go to the YMCA, play men's league. It's hard because the muscle memory, everything is natural to turn over this shoulder. But now when the defense is coming, you got to go the other way. And if you don't have strong enough hips, you don't turn, no, you're going to shoot an air ball or you're going to get a block. Right. So that's what makes that move so, so powerful. Yeah, and it's all, a lot of people, when they think about the fadeaway, they think it comes down to just the jumping ability. But it all starts from the base, and that's what Mike was talking about, making sure you're squared, your legs are strong. I had a chance to play with Michael Jordan for two years. He was always working on leg exercises. He was mm -hmm. always doing stuff with Tim Grover, too. Make sure that the hamstrings, quads, glutes, that area was strong because that's where the power comes from in that type of shot. You have to be able to square your shoulders, turn, mm -hmm. and elevate. And a lot of the times when you see somebody take a wild fadeaway and it goes away or it just kind of air balls, it's because he didn't square his body all sure. the way up. Yeah, he's looking at the rim, but that ball is going to go where your body tells it to go. I don't care how wild the shot was that Kobe Bryant took, his body, if you looked at his feet, he almost always had his feet squared to the basket. And so that's what Mike was talking about with that fadeaway. It comes down to your hips, squaring your feet, and then being able to have, be able to diversify your portfolio and go over both shoulders. Now the defense can't just play your tendency.